Now has come the stage that we can actually talk about it. I discuss and show and demonstrate, explain what is the cost of attrition. Is there a holistic cure to attrition? There is an absolute holistic cure because it is met with total success. It has been endorsed by one of our own auditors over here and has been approved by the United States government. So the next question that we need to discuss is how do we take it forward? This can only go forward by word by mouth. There is no other way. All of us present in this room now are aware that this technology is basically possible. Let me, let me explain to you. Let's take a virtual case. Suppose TCS implements this technology. Let's take a virtual case. Their cost of attrition today is 2,000 crores. This technology will bring down their attrition by at least a third in the first year itself. 2,000 crores, you have a saving of 600 crores in the first year. Let's examine the balance sheet piece. 173,000 people give you a turnover of $8 billion. That's what TCS does. And to the bottom line, you add 600 crores. In the society where I live, my present managing committee brought down the electricity bill from 7 lakhs to 4 lakhs. You would think that the members applauded this entire society, but this is not what happened. You would think that the entire managing committee would be applauded for saving 3 lakhs of rupees on your utility bills. But this is not what happened. Some members stood up and questioned the society down there. What were you doing the earlier years? <laughs> if Tata Consultancy goes ahead and announces there's 600 crores added to their bottom line, they are listed on Dow Jones, they are on Nasdaq, they are on Nifty, they are on Bombay Stock Exchange, and a thousand analysts walk through every inch and moment and time that they spend. Why do they do this? So that you and I can take a calculated decision in investing in TCS. <coughs> and suddenly you find this 600 crore surplus. What do you think, what kind of an explanation they will have to give to explain this 600 crore surplus? This would be breaking news, not to simulate my building. If this is breaking news for TCS, 600 crores without any capital investment, zero. If this is the case, and then Tata stands up and makes an announcement, it is now we have a holistic cure <laughs> to attrition. If they go ahead and make this announcement that they have a holistic cure to attrition, I have just explained to us that the attrition for the financial services company is $8 billion a year for only four companies, please. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of financial services the world over. I have named only four. And their cost of attrition is $8 billion a year. If Tata Consultancy or Wipro or TCS or even any of the lesser companies offers this service, what do you think is the demand? It is insatiable. That is the possibilities. If this is the possibility, is this technology unique? At least the United States government seems to feel so. They have confirmed it by awarding the patent. Number two, we did a check on Google for attrition management, attrition software, etc. The response that we got from Google, normally when I do a search on Google, I get so many hits that I get difficulty in interpreting those zeros. Over here, the hit that we got from Google is there is no such software or technology available for containing attrition. There was one name that stood out. That was asked. So, can you imagine that? So Google confirms that there is a distinct possibility today of taking this technology global. If TCS was to take it, it would be breaking news of what they can do. The demand is almost insatiable. There is an opportunity for almost every service industry in India to basically take this forward. All that I can do from my side is, is to spread the word to my friends over here Take it to IIMs, take it to ISBs, take it to our MBAs and teach them how this technology works. Today we are protected. 
So does that mean that they are not interested in the wealth? That is possible from this? The answer is, that's not true. But at least the Indians don't have to worry about the wealth, the returns of this. Why? Remember. For wealth generation, there is nothing like the Americans. They are spiritual gurus of wealth generation. They are trying day and night to maintain their superiority because this technology and the right to commercialize is 50% American. They are going to take this forward of that, there is no doubt. But then what have you Indians got to lose? Nothing. For the simple reason we still own 50% of the technology. So they can do all the work, they are welcome to go ahead. We give all the education to our countries over here. And for once we have a chance to achieve complete and total global leadership. Because the opportunity is there. The business model, I've just explained to you, the business model is self-explanatory. The revenue model, four companies give you eight billion dollars. What do you think the rest of the world will give you? So as a revenue model, as a business model, it is open-ended. As an opportunity, it is open-ended. Now basically it's for us to take this forward. Thank you. Next question answer, please. This is not a software, it's a complete technology. How do you take this forward? You take a company like Tata Consultancy and they give you 20 people. I don't know if you have read Jim Collins, Good to Great, but I'm sure most of us have at least heard of Jim Collins, Good to Great and gone through it. Jim Collins, you're asking question how you take this forward. India is good so far as services are concerned, what we are talking about is Good to Great. And Jim Collins in his book on Good to Great, he talks of the hedgehog principle, which basically has got, this applies directly to your question please. There are three direct components that he addresses there. First, in good to great, you've got to believe that the product or the service which you are rendering is the best in the world. There is none other. That's the first component of Jim Collins, good to great. Number two, you've got to get the right people on the bus, the wrong people off the bus and the right people in the right seat. And the third component that we are talking about is the project has to be viable and economically feasible. These are the three components from 500 pages of good to great Jim Collins. So how do you basically take this forward? You take this forward by spreading the awareness existing of the technology. It's proof of success in the United States. It's endorsement by one of our own auditors and acceptance and certification from the government of India. We, we digitalize, we digitalize it by a complex set of algorithms referred to as the money to time engine. We have taken a very subjective matter and made it into objective. So we have taken money, digitized the complete components of money and that is our engine. Which allow me at this moment not to divulge anything. Beyond that, unless Tata Consultancy, one of the services companies that says, we are giving a commitment of interest, that's good enough. And show me that you've got a performance team which meets these three components that I basically talk about. We'll part the technology to you completely and help you with 20 people, at least 20 people. They spread it to the next 200 and then it trickles all the way down. Thank you, Suresh. Now I would like to request past president Ranbir Kishan to give the vote of thanks. Friends, you would all agree with me that uh, our chief guest today, uh, Suresh, has taken a subject which is not well known and made it most interesting, almost like a hoodament. You know, we were all soaking in the figures and the magnitude of them and how this topic is so very important in terms of the amounts of money uh, which it can, uh, this particular technology can save if uh, people go in for it and if it works for them. So it was very, very interesting and we thank you so much for enlightening us on attrition. Thank you.